Hey, this is a demo of Inbox Zero. Inbox Zero is an open source email app that helps you manage your email better with AI assistance. So this is the AI automation screen. Here I can tell my AI in plain language how I'd like it to handle my emails. For example, I want to forward all my receipts to Alice, my accountant, or I want to mark high priority emails from my customers. So if someone's asking to purchase or complains, I want to know about it. So let's save those rules and see what happens. The AI has understood what those rules are. It wants to forward these emails to Alice. That's great. And it wants to mark high priority emails as such as well. So let's go test out what that looks like. Let's see how it handles an email that someone is requesting to buy 10 extra seats. And great, it's a high priority email. Let's try out a receipt email as well. And we see it's being forwarded to Alice the accountant. And we can test it on some existing emails as well. Hopefully it won't say anything here because this is just a newsletter, so no rule found. So that's working very well. You can run this in automated mode or in manual mode. You might not fully trust the LLM or you might want to have control over it. So what you can do is you can run it in test mode first and then it's just a simple matter of saying yes or no to every action the AI wants to do. And you can quickly accept or reject the assistant's suggestions. The cold email blocker is a feature that we broke out from the AI assistant. A lot of people were asking the AI assistant to block cold emails. So we built this out into its own feature. So for example, someone emails me, I'm a dev company. Do you need extra hands for your team? Yep, it's a cold email. Let's see if it understands this one's a cold email. No, this newsletter is not a cold email, which is right. We've subscribed to this newsletter. We offer a feature where you can quickly unsubscribe from newsletters. So for example, Techspresso has emailed me eight times in the last month and I'm only reading 13% of them. Maybe I want to unsubscribe. We also offer email analytics. So this helps you better understand your email. We built this actually for us to understand users email habits a lot better ourselves and how we can help different teams. But it's also interesting for users to understand, okay, I'm sending 10 emails a day. And once you understand how much you're using your email, you can go towards better managing it. The final feature is the email client which is currently under development. It's still in beta, but it's progressing nicely. This is where most of the open source contributions are happening right now. Hey, you can sort of see what it looks like. I can reply, I can get AI to write for me and so on. Here you also see the different AI automations that have been applied to your different emails. The long-term goal for this is for it to be an extensible email client that anyone can make their own. It uses popular web technologies. So anyone can build their own integrations and additions, something that we haven't seen done to a high quality in other email apps that exist today.